In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import custom fields on transactions into QuickBooks Desktop using Z-Axis. You may not be familiar with what custom fields are, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview of that. So in QuickBooks, you have a number of fields on transactions like this invoice where you can add data into. In some instances, you may have some additional information you want to add into this invoice, but there isn't a field available in QuickBooks. So QuickBooks Pro, Premier and Enterprise provide the ability to add additional fields on your QuickBooks transaction forms, such as this invoice. So in this example, we have a field called color that's been added to the line level detail on the invoice. Now by default, those fields aren't available. So to make sure that the custom field appears on the invoice or on the transaction that you're importing into, we need to customize the template and make sure we've checked this box here to show on screen and also on print if you want that on the printed form as well. So once that is on, this column will now appear on your invoice. So next stage in the process is to show you how we can import data from Excel or text files using Z-axis in batch to populate those custom fields. So the first step in the process is we're going to connect to our QuickBooks desktop company file. Click on the import tab and browse to the file. So this invoice data that I've created as a test has um, two invoices on it and um, has a column that contains the custom field data that we're going to import. So next we're going to create a mapping. We're going to select the transaction type as invoice and we can begin the mapping process. So if you ever get stuck on this and need some more information about which each of these fields are, by clicking on this blue link up in this right hand corner will take you to a web page. Detailed information about each different field, where they should appear and how they should be mapped, as well as what information should be. You'll also find down the bottom there's more, there's a link here which will take you to another article which describes how to map these custom fields. So we click on that blue link there, we can go through and there's a description of that article there. So let's continue back in Z-axis. So against the customer we're going to match the customer name, the reference number here. the item, which is the product or service that we're selling, the rate, and now we get to the important bit which is about the custom fields. So you can import three custom fields on at the line level on an invoice and also on other purchase and sales transactions that's supported and when it comes to mapping these fields it's a little bit different so the first field you see is what we call the custom field name so this is what is the label for the field so if we went back into QuickBooks we'd know that that label for that field is color now we don't have that in our import file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that as a constant next we'll map which column contains the field values. So these are all the different data values for that custom field. So I'll map that to, I know that in our import file we have a column called color. And you'll see there that it's previewing the first row of that. So we'll give our mapping a name. And we'll save it. So now you'll see the grid has changed and you'll see we have the custom field name as color and the custom field value for each of those rows set to the, what, the column that we have in our import file. So the last step in the process is to click import and the data will be validated, lists will be updated and those invoices will be imported directly into QuickBooks. If you do get an error it will be displayed within this screen here. So that successfully imported those two invoices. So if we want to see the custom field and the detail that we've just imported, we'll click on view. 
So there we have the invoice that we just imported. So it's got a paint and paintbrush and it includes the custom information, the custom data field that we selected. So that's very simply how to import custom fields on transactions into QuickBooks using Z-Axis.